hello to the Abbey Queen through staff, cliffs and nature line. Music is a language, a language that have seven alphabets, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I'll be using those alphabets to guide us through this lesson. Music is a combination of sound and pause. And for music to be uh, meaningful, someone have to like those combination. Then that music, those combination will be music to them. Staff have got five lines and four space. And those five lines and four space represent white notes on the piano keyboard. Clefs. Clefs are sign. We have lots of clefs, but today we're going to look at uh, treble clef and bass clef. Now, the fourth, we'll look at treble clef. The sign you saying is the treble clef. It's also known as the G clef, the on top of the line. It's a space, and that space is known as A. Remember, after G in music alphabet, we go on to A. Now, if we continue the process by adding notes on a line, space, line, space, going up, up, and <coughs> you, you, you come to a point when you run out of line and space. Now, if you add any line above, a staff or below a staff that line is called a ledger line a ledger line extends a staff above or below now we look at the base clef the symbol of a base clef have got two dots now in between those two dots is a line and that line is called f the base is called f clef now we're going to grand staff. Grand staff have got 11 lines. Now, if you split the, the uh, grand staff into two, then you have the uh, treble clef at the top and the bass clef at the bottom. Now, the middle of that, uh, that grand staff, you have got a C. That C is called a middle C. And that middle C is gonna be our reference for uh, our next exercise. This exercise is going to uh, give you uh, some understanding how to identify notes on the treble clef. We're going to use only the treble clef, we're not going to use bass clef. Now for you to access this uh, exercise, if you go on to tura, T -E -O -R -I -A com and click, click on the menu, menu and you want exercise. Now you're on exercise, you have to scroll down to music theory, reading, clef, and you'll be on in the exercise. Now, if you leave all the settings as they are, and scroll down, so you want to set how many minutes you want the um, exercise to last. You can, you can choose any minute from five minutes upwards, or, or if you just refresher, you can do less minutes depending on your preference and you select how many exercises you want i will recommend you do 10 exercises for now for you to get used to it and it will take you into uh, into the exercises now for this demo i've already loaded this exercise now to find uh, the notes you, what you need to do is just to find all those notes. Now, your reference point is middle C. Middle C is a ledger line below this uh, treble clef. Below the treble clef, you start reading from middle C. C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, until you get to the notes you're trying to find. Now, you're going to be reading line, space, line space line space now for the uh, first note on this exercise i'll start c d e f g 
A B C D E F G. Now, if you if you you, you find you know, it's it's G, then you go down, click click or touch uh, the the letter, and it will it, it, it will give you a tick if it's correct or X if it's not correct. Now, if you repeat this exercise for all of the notes, find them. Now, when you finish the exercise, it will give you a score. Keep on practicing it. It takes time, but with determination, you'll be able to do it.